I'm going to demonstrate what convergence and sufficiency is and spend a few moments on how it can be helped. If you look at these two pencils and they represent your eyes, right now you can see that each of these pencils is pointed straight ahead in a faraway direction. If you were looking down the street at a stop sign, the right eye would take a picture of the stop sign, send it back to the brain. The left eye would take a picture of the stop sign, send it back to the brain. And then the brain would take those two images and fuse them to make them one. When we read or look at something up close, let's just take the word cat, for example. We want our two eyes again to align on that word. So the two eyes have to converge or point inwards. And when the two eyes do that properly, each eye looks at the word cat. Each eye sends that picture back to the brain. The brain takes those two identical images and fuses them, and we read the word cat. With convergence insufficiency, one of the eyes does not converge enough, so it remains outward and off the target. We have the right eye sending back a picture of the image cat, the left eye over here on blank space. The brain will take those two images, and because there's a blank in the left eye, it can still read the word cat with no problems. If in fact though, we go to the next step in reading and we are reading a sentence, if the eyes converge and read the word the properly, move to the word cat, read that properly, but by the time they get to the word ran, if one of the eyes drifts off target, the right eye will send back a picture of the word ran, and the left eye will send back a picture of the word cat. And the brain will fuse those two images, although they are dissimilar, it will try to make them one. And the student might say, the cat can, fusing those two words, or the cat rat, fusing those two words. In either case, it'll appear that they are uh, inserting words that don't belong, Sometimes the convergence insufficiency will cause them to skip over words or lose their place. And vision therapy is really the only strategy, the only treatment that you can use to treat this. It can be done in the office uh, over a period of uh, several weeks or months. And uh, you can coordinate and retrain these eyes to behave much more accurately. I hope this helps.